so for the exercise here you see that you have this uh, string uh, uh, of coordinates you see the coordinate in decrement second we have the function here to convert it to decimal degrees and for that you see that uh, the function requires three numbers uh, degree minute and second so first uh, from the string we have to extract degree minute and second uh, number separately so uh, uh, we have done this earlier uh, using the split so uh, you, we want numbers like this so you will have to repeat this step here and after getting this uh, you see that this is a string so whatever output you are getting is a string so even if you uh, get 37 uh, separate but it's a string so it's something like this uh, you see here it's 25 and if i just run the cell you see it's string but then you have to uh, convert it to integer uh, or any number so you have to say uh, int of x or int of whatever variable that you will take here and it will give you the type number so you see here we are comparing with the zero so we want degree minute second everything in the number so after extracting uh, each part from the string you will have to convert it to number and then just call this function uh, and you will get your answer in decimal degrees and if some of them are integers, some of them are floating points, you can use floating point to convert a string that is a floating point number into a floating point decimal number. So use float whenever the number is float. If it's integer, use int, convert it and call the function. The idea is given input string, you need to extract the parts, convert to the conversion to numbers, call the function and print the result. And the result, expected result is 37.77397.